Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Let a1, a2, dot dot dot, an be a list of positive real numbers. Then, the sum from i equals 1 to n of ai times the sum from i equals 1 to n of 1 over ai is greater than or equal to n squared. This is going to be a good one. Now, in proving this theorem, we're going to use the following preliminary result. Given any two positive real numbers, a and b, we have that a over b plus b over a is greater than or equal to 2. And we proved this in a previous video, which I'll link down in the description below. Okay, now to prove this theorem, we are going to use mathematical induction. And we're going to use mathematical induction to show for all positive integers n, we have that for all lists consisting of n positive real numbers, we have that this inequality holds. So let's start with the base case. In the base case, we're dealing with the case n equals 1. And we're trying to show for all lists consisting of one positive real number, this inequality holds, where we have n equal to 1. So let's give ourselves an arbitrary list consisting of one positive real number. And our whole goal from here is to show that this inequality holds, where we have n equal to 1. So let me start out by writing the left-hand side of this inequality. Now, we know that the sum from i equals 1 to 1 of ai is just equal to a1, and the sum from i equals 1 to 1 of 1 over ai is just equal to 1 over a1. Now, a1 times 1 over a1 is just equal to 1, and 1 is equal to 1 squared. So, we have shown that this guy is greater than or equal to 1 squared. In other words, we have shown that this is true where we have n is equal to 1. So, this completes the base case. Now, let's move on to the induction step. In the induction step, we give ourselves an arbitrary positive integer n. And we're assuming for all lists consisting of n positive real numbers, we have that this inequality is true. And the whole goal of the induction step at this point is to show that this is also true where instead of n, we have n plus 1. So really, we're trying to show for all lists consisting of n plus 1 positive real numbers, this inequality holds, where instead of n, we have n plus 1. So let's give ourselves a list consisting of n plus 1 positive real numbers. And with these n plus 1 positive real numbers, we want to show that this inequality is true, where n is replaced with n plus 1. So let me start out by writing the left-hand side of this inequality, where we have n plus 1 instead of n. Now, if we look at our first sum, we can pull away the n plus 1 term and rewrite it as the sum from i equals 1 to n of ai plus a n plus 1. Similarly, for our second sum, we can pull away the n plus 1th term and rewrite it as the sum from i equals 1 to n of 1 over a i plus 1 over a n plus 1. Okay, now let's expand this out. Really, this is just equal to this times this plus this times this plus this times this plus this times this. And when we multiply these two guys together, that's just equal to 1. So this is what we have. Now, from our induction hypothesis, we know that this guy is going to be greater than or equal to n squared. So this entire thing must be greater than or equal to n squared plus the rest of this.
And now what we're going to do is we're going to apply a property of summations, which goes as follows. When we have a constant that doesn't depend on the index of our sum, we can move it inside the sum or we can move it outside the sum. So really, we're going to take 1 over a n plus 1 and move it inside the sum. And we're going to take a n plus 1 and move it inside this sum. But then, another property of sums goes as follows. When we have two sums added together, which both go from i equals 1 to n, we can combine them into a single sum, which goes from i equals 1 to n. Right? We're really just adding these two guys together. So applying this rule to these two sums, this is really just equal to the sum from i equals 1 to n of ai over an plus 1 plus an plus 1 over ai. Okay, so now here's where it should all click together. Every term in this sum, we expect to be greater than or equal to 2. Right, we know, given any two positive real numbers, a and b, we have that a over b plus b over a is greater than or equal to 2. So, what we see here is if we consider any positive integer i between 1 and n, well, a i is positive because that is what we're assuming right here. Also, in particular, a n plus 1 is positive, because that's what we have here. So because a i and a n plus 1 are both positive, we have that a i over a n plus 1 plus a n plus 1 over a i is greater than or equal to 2. So really, since i could be any positive integer between 1 and 2, this tells us that this guy will be greater than or equal to 2, no matter what i is. So every term in this sum is greater than or equal to 2. Consequently, this sum should be greater than or equal to the sum from i equals 1 to n of 2. Right, just like that. But really, the sum from i equals 1 to n of 2 is equal to 2n, because really, we're adding 2n times. And that's just equal to n plus 1 squared. So what we've shown here is that this guy is greater than or equal to n plus 1 squared. In other words, we have shown that this is true where n is replaced with n plus 1. So this completes the induction step. Because we've completed both the base case and the induction step, this closes the induction. So we have proven the theorem. And so this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.